Good evening, church. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts, where I tell you some thoughts I've been thinking on Thursday. First of all, uh, sorry for not posting on Tuesday. I was been under the I've been under the weather the past few days, and uh, yeah, just nothing nothing was working on Tuesday. So apologies for that. But I was thinking the other day about uh, a guy that I knew in my prior congregation. He said that um, he was one time telling me about all the jobs he's had over the years. Uh, you know, he'd had his own business, his own, uh, it was a kind of experimental farm type stuff developing, uh, you know, the kind of things you add to crops to help them grow better. Uh, he had worked for other large agricultural concerns in, uh, in Iowa. He'd been a farmer. Uh, he'd done a bunch of different things. And when I knew him, he was working at Target and he'd been working there for, oh gosh, like, I don't know, 12 years or whatever. And, uh, uh, he was, a he, honestly, he was, a he was a, uh, he worked the checkout line and uh, tell you what, he was a heck of a guy to, to be around and to uh, go to check out with him. Um, people would actively choose to stand in line waiting to be checked out by him, uh, even when there were other open lines available. Um, and uh, there's a couple of times I just went and picked his line, forgetting that he was working and not seeing him up there. And, uh, and it was, uh, it was a lovely surprise, and he'd always, he'd always act like he'd been waiting for you all day. And we were talking, and I, and, uh, I said, boy, Bill, you had a lot of jobs during your time. And he said, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, and I, I always found something to love about every one of them. And I said, I, I, I can't remember if I said it or not, but I thought about it. I'm like, man, that's like that's a discipline because I've, I've had a number of jobs myself and, uh, boy, there are a couple that I'm, uh, granted, it's been several years removed now, but I'm struggling to find something that I liked about a couple of jobs in particular. Um, but then I thought, you know, that's, that's the secret to, uh, not being bogged down in the, the, the junk of life and all the bad things. Right. And, and, uh, it kind of dovetails into uh, something that I've been trying to work on and do in my life for the past several years, which is to stop using the word but, uh, instead use the word and, right? Uh, not say, you know, um, say, well, here's this good thing, but this bad thing, because the word but, that negates whatever just came before it, right? Uh, if I say, oh, it was, a, it was a very nice day, but there were ants all over the picnic site. Well, that's what my mind's really hanging on to is, is the, the ants, the negative, right? And, and thus, emotionally, I look at it as a net negative day. So let's look at and, right? You know, uh, you look at, uh, you know, say, say, say you're working at Target or wherever, right? Not everything about Target's the greatest. And, uh, but you don't say, but, right? Um, say, oh, yeah, uh, Today I had a great day at the checkout line, and uh, also someone ate my lunch out of the fridge. And that's really a thing that we as Christians, I think, need to cultivate, especially in times such as these, when just, man, it just seems like a lot of stuff is kind of hitting the fan. Uh, even by the standards of the last few years, things are seeming kind of really, really strange and concerning right now. Um, so to look at every day, not using the word but, but using the word and, and trying to figure out or see or focus on something good in, in that day. So, you know, see where God is working. Um, and now I, I think the word and is crucial here too, because we can kind of uh, flip this whole notion of, and, and, and try to put too positive of a spin on things that are bad, right? Because um, he's saying, and doesn't mean that we discount the bad things that are going on. Um, it just means in the midst of these bad things, we can still grab something good while also agreeing that the bad thing needs to be addressed. You know, uh, just for example, I'm reminded of stories from the Holocaust. Um, I went to uh, Yad Vashem, which is the uh, Israeli uh, Holocaust Museum. And uh, one of the most gut-wrenching experiences of my life. Um, but there was an exhibit highlighting uh, <laughs> really unexpectedly positive things that happened in the camps. Uh, concentration camps were, camps were objectively horrible, objectively evil. 
objectively evil. Um, and some amazing things happened, like people met, fell in love, and got married. Many of them survived and after the camps, after the war. They lived decades together. Uh, so it, you, you couldn't look back on that experience and go, well, yeah, the camps were horrible, but I met my wife, so... No, that, that, that negates the horrendousness of the camps. Yeah, yeah, the camps were horrible, and I met my wife there. These two things can happen, right? And we need to make sure things like concentration camps, Holocaust, never, never happen again, right? Uh, it's just amazing to see that even in uh, probably the most horrible situation uh, that most of us could think of, at least out of the 20th century, there were still good things happening. They didn't discount the bad things. We shouldn't ignore the bad things. We shouldn't cover up the bad things. We should also acknowledge the good things. So when you're looking around today and uh, you say, oh man, there's a, uh, you know, don't, don't say, uh, focus only on the bad things and think only on the bad things. You'll drive yourself crazy. Train derailments in Ohio, UFOs just flying around and being shot down. Uh, we got the, just, uh, hmm, constant cloud cover. That's the thing that always gets me, puts me in a worse mood. Um, you know, uh, inflation, recession threats, uh, on, 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 on. You know, those are things we need to you know acknowledge and know that they're there. And God's still at work. We can hold these two things in tension because guess what? That's reality. Horrible things happen every day and wonderful things happen every day. And sometimes we get lucky enough that we get to be the person God sends to be at the intersection of the good and the bad for someone. Someone could be having an absolutely horrible day and God puts us in a place to be the other side of that and. Boy, it was an awful day at work today. And I met someone who just made me smile. Anyway, that's just one little example. It could be bigger. You could really make a huge difference in someone's life. You can make a small but still important difference in someone's life too. So go out there and look for the and today and every day. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and for this time. Lord, though it, uh, the days seem dark in more ways than one, help us to see where you are working. And help us to see how you are working within us. Send us out to do your good work and bring a little bit more joy, a little bit more love, a little bit more justice to this strange and often frightening world. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Send this to your friends if you found it beneficial. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I'll see you next time.